Um, so here are some challenges I face along the DSA process. So yes, I DSA last year through Ben. Um, so the DSA process in general has two phases. The first phase is the application phase. So essentially, you go to the website, the portal, you log in, and then you do the application. So um, I had to submit a bunch of report slips as well as to um, submit sort of extracurricular activity achievements and stuff. And the second part. Um, would be a virtual audition so after you get the f after you submit your application you might get a call back and if you do there'll be a virtual audition um the virtual audition for me was for french horn i auditioned through the band as the bottom of the slide says um there will also be an interview and once i got a second call back um we resolved some admin matters and i got in um so here are some challenges i face along the dsa process First of all, was submitting it. Um, I feel like I really had to submit a lot of papers, and there is a lot of paperwork, so it really helps to keep organized. And as for my experiences, um, I think the virtual audition is very uh, exclusive to performing arts. I think the sports people have to play an actual game, but I can't be too sure about that. Alright, so let's move on. So one challenge I faced, um, as stated before, was the paperwork. Another one was the audition. It was very hard to know how to present myself. I feel like in auditions and interviews in general, it's a very fine line between overselling and underselling yourself. So um, I, one of my advice is, you know, walk that fine line. Don't really don't oversell yourself. Um, but do try and do try to link your experiences to values. So let's say um you, you were the um, class champ and, and then you have to like say oh uh, I developed my leadership skills through this thing or you were in um VIA activity then you say class chairman of the class initiated thing. You try to doll it up as much as possible but um again don't oversell yourself, don't make stuff up. Okay. Um another thing is just try it. <laughs> You really have nothing to lose, you know. Like if you look at it from a more like utilitarian perspective, if you don't get in, you're still gonna take the O levels. And if you do get in, that's fine. Um so I think what the schools are looking out for right now is holistic education. So if you are like and that is kinda of also the whole point of DSA that you're not only good in decent in studies but decent in somewhere else and thus allowing you a seat. Um, in this institution so yeah try to have as much of holistic education as possible if you're good for your NAFA and then try to init be good in your NAFA and also try to initiate as much like volunteerism as possible uh, I think that's another way you can build up a portfolio um, yeah speaking of portfolio building up as I said volunteering another way to build up your portfolio is testimonials I think that's a fantastic way to Build up your portfolio because right now you can't do much. It's really, really close to auditions. Auditions are like two months from now, and I think most of you have already stepped down from your CCA. So, yeah, try to do as much volunteer work as possible to make sure your portfolio gets more attractive. Um, as for the deal breaker, um, the Japanese have this thing called the ikigai, which means like purpose in life. Basically, um, I think what got me in is that I was needed the band didn't have a french on position and that's why i got in so obviously that is factor there's that luck factor but i think another thing is really passion you have really have to be passionate to dsa um it's not easy to do a dsa it's not easy to practice for a dsa um yeah so you know you really must be passionate in that area um to and i think the teachers can tell like Especially like for music people, you know, if you're playing a more um, lyrical piece, you really can tell like how much you research you've done and how much exposure you gain through listening. You, it's really really obvious. So yeah, um, yeah. Final thing on the speaker's prompt is: Do you know anyone who did not get into DSA? Yes, I do. Um, I had a friend. He auditioned to 
Nanyang through leadership, I think he'd get added in because his portfolio is very bare bones. I, uh, and also, um, I've heard rumors from teachers that they really do check in on um, your school records. So don't come late for school and try to make a good impression on your teachers, especially these few months. Yeah, I think along with like a bad impression and like a very bare bone portfolio, that's why my friend didn't get in. I, he's really intelligent and I, I feel like he would have gotten to Nanyang otherwise. Um, yeah, so that's it for my presentation.